Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. You're done. Get out of the car. There's a unit. There's a unit. Yep, he just hit the spike strips. He's probably gonna be done. Oh, he is shit-faced. How dare you? Don't you know who my father is? No, I don't know who your father is. All right, sir. Third part of the test. I want you to turn around and place your hands behind your back. You have the right to remain silent. Sir, do you need medical assistance? Uh, I'm not sure. I feel strange. No shit. You just banged your head into a telephone pole. Come over here. Oh, MBA. Hard MBA. Hello, everyone. My name is Nighthawk. Welcome back to another episode of LSPDF Bar. I apologize if I've been gone for a day. Uh, LSPDF Bar had some issues. And I just rage quitted the hell out of my uh, previous recording attempt, which ended up in a very beautiful crash. We're now on LSPDFR 0.4.2, along with the hotfix which was just released um, I about actually 12 hours ago. So I haven't uh, tested it yet, so hopefully this thing is not going to crash. I told myself if, uh, if this uh, game is going to crash on me, I'm just gonna take one deep breath, reopen LSPDFR, or pretty much open the game depending on how badly it crashes, and just get back into it. Just get back into it. I have to breathe, not rage quit. So if this thing crashes, we're just gonna reload the game and breathe. I'm gonna try my best not to get mad and just give up on recording because that, hap that happened a lot lately. So yeah, we're gonna be out here in Vinewood Hills with our unmarked Corvette uh, 2017. Just one court case to check real quick. It's gonna be uh, Eva Mayers. Four years and four months guilty for possession of a stolen vehicle. Uh, about uh, one or two episodes ago, we got into a uh, short pursuit with her in Vinewood Hills and uh, we pulled her over and uh, we found out the vehicle was stolen. The car alarms were blaring, so obviously we had to pull her over. And yeah, that's pretty much that. I've added a custom ballistic shield by Sniper, so hopefully things should work out. And uh, hopefully we're gonna put that to use today. It's a very stormy day today in uh, Los Santos, and it's almost uh, 6 p.m. Clock's about to strike 6 p.m., so it's gonna be a dark and stormy day today. So dispatch 1 liquid 15, uh, show me 10 8 out of Vinewood Hills. 10 4. Alright, let's get out of here and see what we're gonna get ourselves into today. Okay, this guy is seriously tailgating the hell out of me. Speed limit down here is 25 miles an hour. And, uh, yep, he just ran at 33, 35, yep. We're gonna pull this guy over right now. Come on, pull it over. There you go. Sir, if you can pull a bit forward, please. Straighten up your car. God damn. Forward, please. A bit forward. Just a bit forward. A bit more forward. Forward, forward. Keep moving it forward. Stop. Alright, sir. Just stop right there. Thank you. He got up to 35, so that's pretty much 10 over the limit. The limit down here is 25 miles an hour, especially in here, Vinewood Hills. Very important to drive under 25 because if you go anywhere above that, you're gonna endanger a pedestrian or a car. And it's narrow roads down here. You don't want to be speeding down here. Dispatch 1 Lincoln 15, 1195, uh, 20 is gonna be westbound on Wild Oats Drive. Vehicle is a black 9F. Uh, 28th on that vehicle is gonna be. Yeah, 28th on the vehicle, if you're ready to copy, is 85 George Ida Robert 213. Occupied one time. Jake Charlton. Two citations. 10 for dispatch. Uh, be advised that vehicle is occupied one time. 10 4 is backup required. Negative dispatch will advise we need backup. 10 4, proceed with caution. 10 4, will be code 6. Okay. We're gonna be out here with this car that uh, 
went 10 over the limit and basically rode my ass <laughs> all the way down here to Wild Oats. So I'll just get out here, make sure the road's clear before I get out here. Now, uh, the door on this Corvette doesn't have collisions, which kind of pisses me off, so I can't close the door, but uh, nonetheless, it's a really good looking model. But uh, yeah, our door is going to be open for pretty much the duration of this traffic stop, which I do not want. Good evening, sir. How are you doing? Sergeant and I talk from the Los Santos Police Department. The reason why I stopped you is because uh, first you tailgated me all the way down here and then once I let you pass, you decided to speed things up and uh, you take it up to 35 miles per hour. Speed limit down here is 25 miles an hour. Uh, you have your driver's license, registration, proof of insurance? Alright, thank you, sir. Uh, sir, uh, uh, were you aware that uh, you were traveling at about uh, 35 miles an hour down here? Sorry, officer, I really need to use the bathroom. Okay, then. Um, also, why were you tailgating me that bad? Were you tailgating me because you were in a hurry, I guess, to use the bathroom? I guess you were in a hurry to use the bathroom as well since you were tailgating me. Yes, sir, that is a serious issue. Alright, sir. Just sit tight for me, I'll be right with you. Yeah, I smell alcohol on the guy. And narcotics as well, so that is probably gonna be an issue, so... Am I really gonna bother doing a sobriety test out here in the rain? I don't know. Let's run his information. Let's run the vehicle first. I'm kinda scared that it's gonna crash any minute because... A crash can literally come out of nowhere. I'm scared of them now. Okay, let's do a quick record check here on Charlton here, Mr. Charlton. And yep, he's valid on the system. But yeah, he does have uh, alcohol and narcotic odor on him. So yeah, we're gonna get him out of the car and do a sobriety test. We'll just make sure the road is clear. And now uh, we'll get out. Now, I don't have a place to put him in the car in case I have to arrest him, but uh, very high chance that he's going to be arrested today. today. Alright, sir, here's... Oh, shit. Fucking... Oh, my God. Come on. There you go. Alright, sir, here's your information today. Um, I need to ask you a question. Be honest with me, okay? I'm smelling alcohol and uh, drugs on you, so how much have you had to drink today? I had a couple shots. Alright, uh, how about any drugs? I smell drugs too as well. Have you used any drugs recently? No, I just have low blood sugar. Okay. Is there anything illegal on the vehicle that I should be aware of? No, I do not. Okay. Uh, if that's the case, you don't mind uh, me searching your vehicle just to be sure, right? They look like a criminal to you. Go ahead, see for yourself. Okay, then you just consented to a search. But uh, before that, we're gonna do a sobriety test. So, uh, sir, do me a favor and step out of the vehicle. And, uh, I know I don't want you to do this sobriety test out here in the rain, but I have to do so because I have a feeling you may be under the influence. So let's step over here. Hopefully, uh, you don't find the incline too challenging. Or you know what, sir, come over here. Let's cross the street. Let's do a sobriety test up here. Hopefully, the owners of this house won't mind. Uh, okay. Alright, sir. The reason why I'm pull uh, the why I brought you out here is because I have a suspicion. I'm smelling alcohol on you, and I smell drugs on you, and I have the feeling you may be under the influence. So, can you follow me over here this way, sir? All over this way. Right here. So, we have room to do this. Thank you. Alright, sir. Our first sobriety test is a walk and turn test. I just need you to walk in a straight line, heel to toe, like this. Look at me. And uh, once you reach around here, I want you to turn around and walk back in the same manner, heel to toe. Okay? Very easy test. I want you to walk 
in that manner heel to toe okay that's very important i want you to walk in a straight line don't move to the side okay all right sir start walking oh he is shit faced all right sir turn around walk back towards me yep he is shit faced Right, sir. Next part of our test, I want you is a horizontal gaze test. For this test, I want you to look at my pen. I want you to keep your hands at the side, feet together, and I want you to look at my pen as I move it around with your eyes only and don't move your head, okay? Don't move your head, sir. Keep it still. Yep, he's moving his head. All right, sir. Third part of the test, I want you to turn around and place your hands behind your back. You have the right to remain silent. All right, good job. You passed this test. Because you are under arrest. Okay. Sir, go ahead and kneel down on the ground for me real quick. Or actually, no, stand up for a bit. Dispatch only 15. Uh, be advised, subject is 1015. Uh, subject is 502. 104. All right, is there anything illegal on you that I should know about? Uh, hold on. Anything legal on you that I should know about? No officer. Okay then. I'll just patch you down here real quick. Just for my safety. It's best if you tell me now because I'm going to find it. Several Polaroids of women showering. Why? Um, plane ticket to Liberty City. Vanilla unicorn napkin with a phone number written on the back. A bottle of leech. Okay. Okay, Mr. Charlton, you're gonna be under arrest for driving under the influence, okay? Uh, where are you headed to, actually? Tonight, this evening? To South Rockford Drive in Morningwood. Okay, and uh, where were you coming from? From the Beta building in Morningwood. So you're just basically circling around up your Vinewood Hills and driving back to Morningwood. What the hell? Okay. Uh, you live around this area? No, I live in Sandy Shores, okay. Oh, Jesus. People honking the horn to scare the crap out of me sometimes. Okay, um, what else do we ask? Alright, sir. I'll ask you again. How much have you had to drink? Have you drink drunk? Nope. He said nope. Okay. Have you done any drugs? I plead the fifth. Okay. Sir, go ahead. Turn around for me. Open your mouth and blow into this uh, breathalyzer for me. Just keep blowing into it like a balloon. Just keep blowing until I tell you to stop. Alright, stop. Thank you. Point one sixty. holy crap. Over the limit. Double the limit, actually. Okay, um... Next, sir, I want you to stick your tongue out, open your mouth. Need to see what drugs you've been taking, because uh, I smell drugs on you as well. Marijuana, cocaine, and meth. Holy crap, you've been quite the you've been on quite the trip. Alright. Come over here. Or you know what? Actually we'll stay here. There's not a lot of room over there. Go sir, go ahead and kneel down for me. Dispatch only could fifteen. I need a code two unit down here to assist with the ten fifteen subject gonna be out here on Wild Oats Drive. Assistance needed. I'm gonna get this ID before the unit arrives, and once that unit arrives, we're gonna do the arrest report. Yeah, just you, uh, you guys let me know what I can do. Yeah, just you guys let me know what I can do. Okay, unit is on scene. Please don't crash into my car. There you go. Nice parking. Alright, sir, kneel down. These guys are gonna watch you while I uh, write some stuff up for you. Over here, guys. Watch the road. Look at this guy. He's prepared for the weather. I'm not. Alright, sir. Uh, Alright, guys. Can you stay and watch the guy? Uh, you especially hold position. Okay? Just watch this guy. I'm gonna do his arrest report. I mean, just watch the road here before I cross the road. I don't want to get my ass run over. Okay, let's search the vehicle first. I forgot to do that. Um, let's put our gloves on. 
There you go. Yeah, just keep on driving. Nothing to see here. Let's see what we've got in here. More Polaroids of women showering. Wow. A folder, building blueprints, prosthetic arm. Really nothing. Okay. So, this guy's pretty much just going with a DUI. That's it. Alright. Let's take our gloves off. We're done with that. Alright, let's do the arrest report here real quick. Jake Charlton, record check. Uh, I think we already did that earlier. Should be clean. Yep, Jake Charlton, arrest report. It's gonna be... We're gonna do citations as well. Um, we're gonna... It's gonna be uh, driving under the influence. It's his first one so far according to the system. So this is his first one. And I got another jackass speeding at 35 miles an hour. God damn, people always speed down here. Um, I think that's it. Uh, driving under the influ influence, it's bondable. We'll create that rush report. Uh, more speeders. I need to turn off the radar, it's annoying as hell. Okay, our report's been filed. Court date's gonna be June 24th. There you go. And the last thing we need to do is write that as citation up. Uh, violation's gonna be tailgating the hell out of me. And pretty much speeding. Forgot about that. Speeding, 1 of 15. What else? Uh, fail, uh, following too closely. Is it in here? There you go. Following too closely. That's gonna be... $435, two points off his license, court summons for that. Issue the summons and it should be done. One month from now is uh, the processing for that. And there you go, we're done with that. Alright officers, you can go ahead and take him away now. Um, I think I have to be near the guy. Yep, I have to be near the guy, god damn it. Alright guys, you can go ahead and uh, take this guy away. Now I'm done uh, writing him up. Backup required and fine with you. Screw you. Yep, screw him. Driving under the influence. And I don't understand why these people want to do that. Okay, we're done with that. Let's get this vehicle towed then uh, we're going to be done with this traffic stop. Dispatch, we'll link at 15. Uh, can I get a tow out here? 1185 for this vehicle. should be up here yep uh, let's get a flatbed out here flatbed. Assistance needed on Wild Oaks Drive. oh what's going on over there all right tow trucks on the way dispatch we'll look at 15 1185 is code for uh, correction 1195 is code for uh, we're gonna be back 10-8 all right let's get out of here Oh boy, stolen police vehicle. Dispatch only 15, show me route code 3. Okay, looks like we got a code 3 pursuit over there. Uh, looks like it's headed down our way. We're actually headed uh, uh, to our uh, right, just right of us. So we're gonna head over there and try to catch up. Dispatch, can I get more units down this to this pursuit? We're gonna need code 3 units down here. Oh, that unit's catching some air. Looks like it's a stolen fire truck. From the looks of it. Yep, stolen fire truck. Driving in Vinewood Hills. What do you know? Alright, Deputy, we're gonna take primary from you. This is my jurisdiction after all. Stolen fire truck. Now, Southwest Lagunas Boulevard. Physics just went bonkers for a minute. This unit just crashed into me. What is going on? Jesus Christ, bonkers physics as usual. Just MV8 into a vehicle, fire truck is just driving like he doesn't care and it's raining out here so we can't even get air support out here but that's not a problem because uh, this guy's driving a fire truck, he's not gonna be headed anywhere. We can however call for spike strips. 
Okay, he's turned around. He's gonna be on... Oh, Lord. Where is he going? He's on the sidewalk. Where is he going? Okay, now we're... This guy's just driving around in circles. Okay, now we're gonna be on... He's just driving around in circles. Okay, now he's made up his mind. Now we're gonna be westbound Abbey Milton Parkway. Now, this batch, let's get more units down here. Now, uh, southbound on... Okay, where's this guy going? Southbound Dorset Place. Westbound on Dorset Drive now. Westbound Dorset Drive. This guy is just all over the road. Now, uh, westbound Dorset Drive. Westbound Dorset Drive. Uh, crossing Heritage Way. Now we're southbound Heritage Way in Rockford PD. Well, not Rockford PD. Rockford Hills. I'm hoping the game is not going to crash because the last time I got into Pursuit, it crashed. So, fingers crossed. If this crashes, well, I'm probably going to have to cut it out. Now, westbound Marathon Avenue. Units are having trouble catching up. Dispatch, can we get spike strips down here to slow this fire truck down? We're crossing westbound on Rockford Drive. Yep, he's headed right into them. He's headed right into them. Oh, he hit the spikes. He hit the spikes. He's sliding out. He's done. He's done. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. You're done. Get out of the car. Get down to the ground. Get down to the ground. Hands in the air. Hands out. Get down to the ground. All right, put your hands behind your back. Nice job, everyone. Dispatch one liquid 15. Subject is 1015. We're going to be on Marathon Avenue in Del Perro. Let's close the road. Alright, there we go. Where is my backup? Okay, backup is just gonna drive off. Anyway. Anything illegal on you, bud? How dare you? Don't you know who my father is? No, I don't know who your father is. Alright, you you do know that you just stole this fire truck, right? I don't I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say either. Alright, why were you running? How did things start? Because I know what you cops are like, always trying to pin bullshit on me. Well, I know what to pin you for. Being in possession of a stolen vehicle. Actually stolen government property. Alright, straighten up, I'm gonna patch it down. Let's see what he's got and uh, we'll run him through dispatch. Large amount of suspicious clear crystals and a rape whistle. Okay, we're gonna need to get a unit out here that has a drug testing kit down here. Dispatch runway 2729 on, a, on an Alexander Carter. And see if he's uh, connected to any prominent names here in San Andreas. September the 2nd, 1991. Okay. Yeah, you shouldn't have taken this route. You shouldn't be driving at all. It's not good weather out here right now. Alright, come here. Let me just pin him to the side of the road here. And now uh, let's just get the car to the side here. I'm just gonna park my car to the side here. Okay, kneel down. Dispatch, if possible, can I get a code 3 unit down here to assist? Uh, I got subject 1015 on Marathon Avenue in Del Perro. Assistance required in Del Perro. 12, We're gonna clear traffic control here temporarily because I know units are not gonna be able to drive through here. We'll wait for backup to arrive and uh, we'll be right back. Del Perro PD should be here any minute. And uh, he's quite the ways away. He's over by Bay City Avenue, it looks like. Or Bay City Incline. Or even Eclipse Boulevard. He's pretty far, basically. Pretty, pretty far. 
Oh boy, he is gonna take forever to get here. We'll be right back, guys, until that unit arrives. Sir, do you live here or do you live anywhere uh, near... Uh, do you live anywhere else? Yes, but I wanna leave this country. Well, you can't be leaving now, because you're fucked. Alright. Kneel down. I, I hear the unit getting closer. Yep, he's right there. Took him a while. Right here. You see the lights and uh, stuff all the way down here? That's where the pursuit ended, right here. Right here, please, right here. Okay, close the road again. Over here. I got your back. Okay. Should have got his uh, ID while backup was on its way. And they took a while to get there, so I'm gonna have to grab him away from the backup units and then get his ID. Alright, kneel down. Got his ID. Let's do that to our support. Can you guys guard this guy, please? Please guard this guy. Or, you know what? You're, you're staying there. That's fine. Okay, Alexander Carter. Let's do a quick record check. Make sure he doesn't have any warrants or any other stuff like that. And, yep, that's it. We're gonna do go with the arrest report only today. Um, let's see. Crimes against property. It's gonna be possession of a stolen, uh... Or no, it's in possession. My bad. Possession of stolen government property, which is this fire truck. And what else? Or you know what? We should actually um, search the fire truck first. Maybe there's something in there. I don't know. Let's search the fire truck real quick. Can of pepper spray. Okay, there's nothing in there. And there's nothing on him as well. Oh yeah, the clear crystals I forgot holy crap okay we'll do a drug testing uh, we'll do a roadside drug uh, test on this uh, clear crystals and then uh, we're gonna figure out what it is from there so let me just go over to this guy's car I'm gonna ask this officer if I can use his roadside drug testing kit hey officer you don't mind if I use your roadside drug testing kit I found some clear crystals on him all right thank you Del Perro Police. Okay. Uh, let's store the evidence here. Oh, look at all that cool stuff inside this car. It's go okay, it's gonna be uh, clear crystals. Crystals. Okay. Let's test that. Let's see what the, these crystals could be. Let's try PCP. Hopefully we'll get it the first time around. Nope, not PCP. Let's try Mark III Reagent. Since it seems to test a broader uh, a variety of uh, drugs. And yep, it's methamphetamine. There you go. Possession of methamphetamine, possession of stolen government property. And that's gonna be that. Government property and methamphetamine. Not to mention driving like a jackass. Reckless driving too. We're gonna charge him for that. Driving in circles. Hopefully his name is still in there. Yep, his name is still in there. So it's gonna be reckless driving if it's even in here. Oh yeah, attempting to flee loot police as well. Uh, reckless driving. Possession of methamphetamine. And possession of stolen government property. If it even shows up here. That's it. Should be non-bondable or actually bondable. Even at this rate. And we're gonna create that to our support and it's gonna be done. We're probably gonna need a heavy duty tow truck to get this thing out of here. But yeah, we're done with them so... Uh, officers, you can go ahead and uh, take him away now. 1016. Done writing him up. There you go. Backup required on Marathon Let's get a tow truck out there, clear this road so we can get traffic moving again. This you know special team, we need a tow truck that's capable of uh, towing this. No, not my car, this thing. This fire truck. Yeah, we need 1185 out there, dispatch that's capable of towing this uh, fire truck. 
Alright, scene's cleared down here for the most part. Let's take off our gloves and we're gonna be done with that. Let's open the road back up so that units can get in and get out. This batch only 15 code 4 off of that uh, pursuit. We are gonna be back 10 8. No problem, officers. Alright, where's that tow truck? Trying to make a turn down here. I'm just gonna move over to the side here so people on the opposite lane can drive out of here. And the cars behind me can. No, they can't, okay. We're gonna wait for the tow truck to pick this fire truck up. Alright, tow truck's here. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Alright, let's get back to Vinewood because we're outside our patrol area. Citizens report A211 at Bob Mullet Salon. Units respond code 3. Dispatch 115, show me in route code 3. Looks like we got a robbery in progress over at the. I forgot, I didn't uh, pay attention to what dispatch had, but looks like it's at the barber salon according to the map and from what I. Kind of heard from dispatch, so dispatch will continue showing around code 3. We're not far from the area. Hopefully, we can put our ballistic shield to good use here. I don't have a rifle with me since I only have a, a Corvette with me, but I do have a ballistic shield with me. And I hear the alarm ringing. Oh, there they are, there they are. They're getting into the car. Okay, got one running on foot. Holy crap. Let's call it in. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go after the other guy. He's in the car. I'm probably gonna have to leave the other- Oh my god, god damn it. He's over there. I see him. He's driving northbound on, uh, Del Perro Boulevard. I need to drive really fast before I lose this guy. My door is open. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, report it, report it. Call it in. There you go. Unfortunately, we lost the other suspect that decided to run on foot, but, uh, yeah, we're gonna be, dr uh, in pursuit of this white um, SUV, looks like it's a white one. Dispatch, uh, can I get the code 3 back up down here? 211 suspect uh, on the run, westbound Madwing Thunder Drive, occupied one time. It looks like there's a unit up ahead. Hopefully, you can intercept us in time. Make a left turn, make a left turn. Nope, not making a left turn. Yep, he made a left turn. Nearly got trapped. Now, once again, since uh, the weather's really shit, we're, we're not going to be able to call air support. So, now we're going to be northbound Ace Jones Drive. A uh, vehicle is occupied one time, just robbed the salon down near uh, Rockford Hills. Now, westbound Ace uh, Jones Drive doing 40 to 50 miles an hour. Let's get more units down here, dispatch. This guy is probably armed and dangerous. Is he making the left? Nope, making the right. I don't like where this is going because this is the same way the pursuit went in the last time I recorded an episode and it crashed. Now we're gonna be eastbound Rapper Drive doing 50 miles an hour, not very fast, but uh, still kind of fast, but uh, he might speed up here in a minute. Yeah, we got an eye on him, but there's no changes here. Dispatch, can I get some spike strips down here? Northbound Rockford Drive. There's a unit, there's a unit. Yep, he just hit the spike strips. He's probably gonna be done. Get out of the car, bud. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Hands in the air. Down on the ground. Crossfire, crossfire, officer. Jesus, crossfire. Down on the ground, down on the ground. These dumbasses are just driving around the... Close the road, close the road. Alright, let's close the road. Dispatch, one link at 15. Subject is 1015. Subject is in custody. That was quick. Now, unfortunately, we did lose the other guy. Which is very unfortunate. Got a lot of officers here on scene. Wow, we got a lot of officers on scene, no joke. Alright, let's come over here. Over to where there's a decent amount of space. Alright, 
right over here. Alright, bud, anything illegal on you? I'm forbidden to answer that question. It's against my religion, you know. Oh, whatever religion that is. Uh, officer, you can go ahead. Can you go ahead and pat this guy down real quick? And see what his name is. Look at that. A lot of units on scene right here, right now. Several pounds of... Several rounds of ammunition. I didn't find a firearm on him, though. Maybe the faster was is uh, the one with the weapon. We're not sure at this rate. Alright, sir. Uh... Where do you live, sir? Do you live around the area where you robbed? Yes, sir. I live with my port. Okay, then. Alright, sir. Uh, do you own this ammunition that's on you? Yeah, man. Okay. And uh, where are you planning to head to? To Roger Salvage and Scrap in La Puerta. Okay, then. Let's search the car here and see if it matches to him. Or let's actually run his name through dispatch first. Dispatch on Lincoln 15, uh, 2729 on a Frank Delusia. And he's clean on the system. Okay, dispatch, you remember me 20th on the vehicle? It's gonna be. Yep, there you go. 20th is gonna be a Huntley 41 Sam Young Sam 045. No registration. Beautiful. That's going to be driving without registration. Reckless driving, crossing over the double yellow, and pretty much speeding. But I'm not going to bother with the citations at this rate. I really don't want to. It's really annoying. I just found that out now. It's really annoying. I'm just going to do the arrest report. Four grams of suspicious white powder. Any of you guys have a drug testing kit I can use? Officer, do you mind if I use your drug testing kit? Alright then, thanks. Four grams of suspicious white powder. Let's get our gloves out. And let's do a quick test on these, uh, on this white powder here. Okay, store some evidence. We'll just type white powder. We're not gonna bother typing the entire thing as is. Four grams of white powder. There you go. Let's test it. It's probably, uh, let's see. Let's see what you got. It's most likely cocaine. Well, 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 hmm. Yeah, let's try the Scott reagent. I feel like it's cocaine. Is it cocaine? Nope, negative. Let's try the Mark Wee reagent. Let's see what we've got here on the test we're doing. It's heroin, ladies and gentlemen, heroin. So he's gonna be charged with possession of heroin, armed robbery, and let's see, heroin, armed robber, ar robbery, attempting to elude, and reckless driving, of course. So did I get his ID or I did not get his ID, so yeah. Unfortunately, his uh, partner in crime did get away. He ran on foot right behind the salon, but uh, yeah. We can't catch them all, unfortunately. We just can't catch them all. I want your ID and not the officer's ID here. Wait, I smell alcohol on him. Officers, uh, do me a quick breathalyzer test on him and see what he's get what he gets on the test. He might be going in for driving under the influence as well. Let's see what he's got on the test here. Zero point zero eight one, just above the legal limit. Okay, he's in quite a heap of trouble here. Okay, let's do that arrest report. Okay, let's check up here on Georgus. Uh, is this the right person? I don't think it's the right person. Okay, it is the right person. Okay, and uh, he's clean on the system. So arrest report. It's gonna be driving under the influence first and foremost. Then it's gonna be attempting to flee and reckless driving. Uh, what else? Armed robbery, of course. Is it here? Or is it in property? Should be down here, right? Yeah, there we go. Armed robbery. 
and also possession of heroin. Four grams of it to be more specific. Four grams of heroin. Another jackpot for today. A mini jackpot. Three felonies, two misdemeanors, non-bondable at this rate. We'll create that arrest report. And there you go. We've arrested a lot of people today, folks. Arrested a lot of, arrested a lot of people. So, court day is going to be June 24th. That note, uh, units, you can fuck off out of here and uh, take this guy away now. 1016. There you go. Guys, you can uh, take him away now. 1016. Did I even search the vehicle yet? I just realized I forgot to search the vehicle. Hopefully there isn't anything in here that I missed out on. Oh, I did search the vehicle. Okay. God, I'm getting forgetful. Alright, dispatch. Can we get 1185 out here as well to throw the vehicle away? Right there. No, not my car, goddammit. This thing. Yeah, there you go. This thing. The Huntley. Flatbed, please. Alright, units, you can go code 4 of this. Thanks for the help. Okay, let's clear the road down here so units can come in here. Dispatch code 4 off of that pursuit. Uh, show me back 10 8. This badge only contains show me north code 3. Looks like it's a stolen motorcycle that's reported on the freeway. We're probably gonna have to jump off here from the hill. So here you go. Just driving down here casually down to the hill. Because we need to catch up to this guy right now. Because he's driving pretty fast. We're gonna lose him. We are gonna lose him. Oh my god. Yep, I see him. Dispatch, I got Isolat Motorcycle, west inter westbound Interstate 2. Driving pretty fast. No helmet as well, so this makes it all the more dangerous. So dispatch, we're gonna be in pursuit of that motorcycle. Appears to be a black male and a black uh, long sleeve with uh, white pants. Westbound Interstate 2, crossing Interstate 4. Let's get uh, a state patrol and local patrols down here. Westbound Interstate 2 doing 65 miles an hour. Headed towards a little soul here. Probably gonna be crossing underneath the tunnel here. This pursuit can only end one way and it's probably a nasty crash. And uh, not to mention this guy is riding without a helmet so we have to... Uh, uh, so even if we're taking the high road here, we're gonna have to take this guy's uh, safety into account because he has no helmet. This guy needs to stop or slow down, and if we use spike strips, he's gonna lose control of the car right away. Can he even shoot me? We're probably gonna have to do something really crazy here, and that is get in front of him and do a brake check on him. Nope. Now we're gonna be crossing, uh... Oh, making a right turn there. Try to lose us. Now we're gonna be on West Eclipse Boulevard. Now doing 60, 70 miles an hour. Made another right turn. Now we're gonna be on Playa Vista. Uh, still on a Playa Vista here in Pacific Bluffs. This guy's doing 70 to 80 miles an hour. He's probably going to crash into someone at this rate if he doesn't stop. Or if he even continues to brake check me. Oh my god, nearly collided into those cars. Eastbound Bay City Avenue. Oh my god, that bus just nearly hit me and ended my life. Units are having trouble catching up. We're passing by the Del Perro Pier here doing 60 miles an hour. Eastbound on Bay City Avenue just uh, passed by Equality Way here. Oh, nearly hit that uh, uh, taco truck. Yep, you can't outrun us. You better stop that car. I'm in a Corvette. I'm faster than your ass. He is gonna get into an accident and he's gonna get himself hurt. 
he's just being stupid here, risking his life and others life as well. I don't think he's risking other people's life because Oh, MVA, hard MVA. Hard MVA, just blood on the utility pole there. He's taken off. There you go. He's taken off. Sir, you better stop or I'm going to tase you in the rain. You don't want to get tased in the rain. Taser, taser, taser. God damn it, I missed. Sir, you're going to be tased in the rain and you don't want that. Taser, taser, taser. Well, that's all I have for the taser. Only two cartridges. Get on the fucking ground. You nearly died today. He's got a massive head injury from that. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Alright, officer. I'm covering you. Take him to custody. Yep. Fucking jackass. Yep. Felony evading. And probably endangering himself. Dispatch uh, subject is 1015. And he is under the influence of narcotics, most likely. Why do I have my Glock? I set my loadout to have the P320. Get over here. You guys see that? Just face planted into the telephone pole hard. Oh, MBA. Hard MBA. Alright, I'm gonna stop him right here because he looks like he needs help. Actually, get up. Alright, sir, is there anything illegal on you? Or actually, let's ask him this question first. Sir, do you need medical assistance? Uh, I'm not sure. I feel strange. No shit. You just banged your head into a telephone pole. Come over here. We're gonna get you an ambulance because uh, you've got a massive head injury. You just face planted hard in the telephone pole and there's blood all over the telephone pole. Massive head injury. We're gonna get an uh, ambulance out here once we're done with this arrest report. So dispatch only could 15. Uh, can you roll an ambulance down here? A uh, suspect that has a massive head injury after he just face planted in that telephone pole right there. My god. State patrol's down here. I don't even know if the blood's still there. I don't think the blood is there, but it was there earlier. The rain probably washed it off. But yeah, I remember there was blood there. A lot of blood. Alright, sir. Uh, why'd you run? You gotta tell me why you ran from us. I don't know. Probably because you're under the influence. Okay. Have you done any drugs? Anything to drink? Alright. Uh, can any of you guys give him a drug swap test? I feel like he's under the influence of drugs here. And while that's happening, let's search the motorcycle here real quick. There's about 28 on the vehicle. On the motorcycle involved the pursuit is going to be 62 Adam Tom Tom 765. And yep, he is positive for marijuana. So that's driving under the influence. Reckless driving. And what else? Uh, Deputy, can you pat him down real quick? Eddie Manana. Dispatch from me 2729 on this guy. What's your name, sir? Joey Leroy. August 22, 1999. Those glasses, though. So he's clean on the system. Nothing on him. Just a rape whistle and a couple masks. So I'm going to get his uh, ID then. Uh, we'll do that rest report. I'm just going to bring him over that way. I honestly have no idea why he ran. Probably because he's under the influence. He's fucking high. Probably. He feels strange. Quote unquote. Either he's probably too high to feel any pain or he's feeling some definite pain. So kneel down, sir. You're hurt. Ambulance is on the way. We're gonna get you to the we're gonna get him checked out by a paramedic because he plays face planted hard into that telephone pole over there. Oh yeah, let's I forgot, let's check the motorcycle here. Once we're done with this, we're gonna be 10 7. That's gonna be the end of the episode. Okay, there's nothing on here. Okay. 
Uh, vehicle was not stolen, right? Dispatch, uh, can you verify if 28 is uh, reported stolen? That's 62 Adam Tom Tom 765. It's not reported stolen, okay, but he's not the registered owner either, so we're probably gonna notify the owner what happened here. And uh, maybe he'll shed some light into what the hell is going on with him. He's intoxicated, decided to run from the police, and now he needs to go to the hospital. So let's do a quick record check on him. Make sure he doesn't have any warrants or anything. So arrest report, it's gonna be... Oops. Uh, driving under the influence. Uh, attempting to flee, uh, reckless driving, uh, being in possession, nope, uh, resisting arrest, it should be down here, yep, resisting with, resisting or interfering with arrest, let's see, driving under, did I already put that, driving under the influence, yeah, okay, so if I remember, it's just driving under the influence and all of that. So three misdemeanors, one felony. Let's create that arrest report. Okay, arrest report's been made. Let's get him to the hospital. Dispatch on Lincoln 15. Uh, notify the ambulance to roll down here. We're going to be in Bay City Avenue and Magellan Avenue. Suspect has severe head injuries and uh, he's not feeling himself, according to him. So let's get an ambulance down here. Uh, yeah, there we go. Let's get an ambulance down here. Assistance required in Puerto del Sol. And let's get this vehicle towed out of here. Are you a trooper or are you a deputy? I just realized that. Oh, he's a trooper. Okay, I see the ba I see the badge on him. All right. Trooper, thanks for the help. You can go code four after this. Thanks for the help, trooper. Okay, let's get this vehicle towed out of here. Dispatch eleven eight five for this motorcycle. Let's get it out of here. It's gonna be, uh, let's just use a small pickup truck. Pickup truck. Assistance required on Bay City Avenue. So they're gonna take him away. He's got some severe head injury after just face planting into that uh, telephone pole. I saw severe blood, a lot of blood on that telephone pole. He definitely has some injuries. Alright, dispatch, we're code 4. Uh, show me 10-7. There he goes. He's off to the hospital. He's gonna be checked out then. He's gonna be charged for uh, the charges I uh, wrote him up for. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of LSPDFR. Thankfully I was able to record this. Um, we did uh, have one crash though and uh, I was responding to a burglary. I'm pretty sure it was a United call out. A call out. And uh, the moment I pulled out my shield it uh, crashed. So I'll probably have to uh, put that in the forums and Wow, just a massive explosion that rudely interrupted my outro. But yeah, wow, look at that. Hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, there's still some uh, crashes that needs to be solved, but uh, we were able to record a decent episode. So yeah, hopefully you guys liked this episode and enjoyed it. Uh, uh, leave a like on this video, it would help me out. And uh, if you like what I'm doing, subscribe to this channel. And uh, I've just created a Twitter uh, account uh, so that I can post updates more easily. So. Please uh, uh, follow my Twitter and uh, check out my Facebook page. It's down in the link below. And please check out my Patreon as well. Uh, it would really help me out if you could uh, donate to my Patreon and become a patron. You'll get access to some exclusive perks and really help me out, uh, uh, you know, in pushing out these videos. And I believe that is going to be it. My name is Nighthawk, and I will see you guys in the next shift. Peace out. With the